people who like all kinds of music. All kinds of music. Check this out. We got a great show coming your way today. I've learned that music is what feelings sound like. Follow me on my journey to discover new music, new styles, and new people. Welcome. This is Real Talk Real Music here on the LDM radio station. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for listening to the LDM radio station. And it is time for Real Talk Real Music. So we're here now on our podcast. I'm Charles Aloma, your host, and today I have a five-time nominee, a three-time uh, win- winning uh, artist, and she is known for her work as well, and she's Latina. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Vero G in the house. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to announce me. I'm loving this. <laughs> <laughs> that is you. good. That's good. Definitely. So, uh... Well, G, first of all, congratulations. You won the uh, gospel winning uh, this year. Then you won the Latin one the other year. Yes. You're, you're nominated for Latin um, pop. Yes. So, you know, what, what else we got? We got, a, like, rock next? What, I, what's I, next? No, rock I'm not doing. I'm not touching that. <laughs> oh, okay, uh-uh. okay. I'll leave that to the, 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 the guys that do what they do. But uh, <laughs> I'll just stick to what I know for now. <laughs> <laughs> which which is good. So uh, you know the song was "Let Him uh, Heal Me," right? Yes, let him heal, heal you. Yeah, you got it. You get so Let him heal okay. you, yeah. which is a good song. Yes. Uh, if you guys have not listened to it, we're going to be playing it right after this uh, podcast awesome. as as well. Thank you. Uh, it will touch you, no matter what religion, what you know issue you're doing, or or the issue you're in right now. Yes. Uh, so I, I like that, you know, and the, the smoothness of your voice on this one, mm-hmm. I, I, I'll say personally, your best. Thank you. It was your oh, best. I, I, I put all my heart to this on the song. and uh, well, You can feel it. Yes. You can feel it. Like you were like, you. Uh, there was parts of it like you were emotional in it. So I was like, oh, okay, you can feel the uh, actual voice. So, you know, Thank that is you. good. Yeah, I appreciate it. And I just want to give a big shout out, big shout out mm. to uh, Mr. Peña, who's the engineer for this song. And he put a lot of work to it. And uh, this actually was on a Victory album a couple years back. I did it mm. um, during the COVID situation. Right. And when this came out, I am just a quick backstory about the song. Um, I, you know, I don't do this kind of music, gospel at all. I usually do like you know, R&B, so all the types of genres. And when this, like I mentioned when I did the announcement, I said, you know, God really did use me that day. I was sitting in my, no lie to you, Charles. I was sitting in my room, and it was, you know, a couple of beats on YouTube, like, you know, mm-hmm. stuff like just getting my mood to it. And this one beat kept coming to me. And I said, hmm. So, you know, as an artist, when you hear that beat, you're like, you got to work on it. You got to work. So this for a reason. Right, right. So I'm sitting down, I'm hearing it, and then I start, I usually how I do my songwriting, I put a brainstorm uh, sheet. And I put the words, and I try to put the rhyming, and then the next sheet is I might have put the final one, put the pieces together. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, see, now you know my trick. Shh, don't do that shit now, okay? <laughs> yeah, you know, how do the song like that make it hit? I got you now. <laughs> no, it's, it's, you, you need to do a uh, few yeah. things like that. Yeah. Uh, I'm just turning off my ra- no, uh, no, ringer. No, no, you're good, you're good. I was like, wait a minute, I just realized <laughs> I still had the ringer on the phone. Oh, you've had um, calling me. Yeah, <laughs> but... Uh, there are certain things to do, and that was one of the stuff I was going to ask you. Like, sure. how did you get into the zone? You know, uh, and a uh, question that I ask um, songwriters that, well, the ones that write a whole lot of songs. Yes. Have you ever got blocked? And if so, uh, how did you get out of it? Okay, so that's the first one. I think um, my, the, my songwriting price is process, forgive me. I think it's different. Mm. How I go about it, usually, I try to be at a closed place. Where there's no distraction. My phone's off. Uh, I put some incense, you know, I hear some candles. I get, you know, in the mood, as they say. Uh, and then I'll just, like, if I like a certain beat, I have to make sure first before anything, I either, if I could buy it or lease it, you know, mm. make sure that I have to protect that song before I start writing on it. Then I'll start into, the, like, the brainstorming process and then into the high structure it. I'll feel the song, the beat, it gravitates to me, and then I'll just put everything into a storyline. And mm. then um, pretty much the rest is history. And now to the other question you asked. I think sometimes as a songwriter, you also do get brain, as they call brain farts, right? Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it happens. Sometimes you, you, you want to write something so great, but then you're like, I, I, at that moment, you just don't know what to write about, you know? And I think that sometimes when you do that as a songwriter, mm-hmm. take a day or so on the song, off on it. Like, don't really stress it. Right. Wait till the next couple of days and then go back on it. And then say, okay, maybe I missed something I missed out on. 
and then me add to it, you know, because sometimes you, you just can't just write a song one day and that's it. It's a great hit. No, you have to go back and re retrieve, you know, okay. refix it, go back and see what things may be added or take out. Yeah. Yeah, that, you know, it's, I think with anything that you do, if you feel frustrated about it, take a breath, you know. There we go. And uh, just, <laughs> you know, move to the side and, uh, like you said, come back to it yeah. at a later time. Because I always think maybe it wasn't the right moment or the right mm, time. Exactly. Because I know there's some songwriters that pass away, you know, like big, oh big, big uh, people like Tupac and all that. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden you see all these songs popping up. Yeah. yeah. And it's because those are the songs that they was like, you know what, I'm going to get back to it. Eventually. It's not the right moment for it. Yeah. So, you know, because so I'm assuming that a lot of the ones that really write, not the one that wrote one song and that's and it. And somebody else does it for them. Yeah. <laughs> but the ones that really write a lot of songs, mm -hmm. I'm assuming they have a couple of them that they thought it was good. And then when they finished, they was like, nah, you know what, I'm not going to release this one. Very and then true. they have it on the side. So there's so probably true. songs like that. And then all of a sudden, that one moment, you're like, you know what, I'm going to take out this song. I wrote this 20 years ago, but I'm going to finally, <laughs> finally sing it. I'm going to finally perform it, you yeah. know. So it, it, it happens. Like you said, this was on the back burner. And then you was like, you know what, I'm, I'm actually going to bring it out. Yeah, definitely. You know, and you bring it out. And that's, that was with, uh, the good thing about it. And, and then look what happened. It all works out sometimes. And I, it's true you say that, Charles, because of the fact, like, a lot of times when you do songwriting, it's sometimes you think when you make that one song, is it going to be a hit? And sometimes it's not. Right. It becomes a flop. But then the, it's like, for example, you do an album, or EP, or a full, mm. full song album, we call it. And then you, it's like the one, two songs in the album are the ones that stand out the most. Right, and right. I, I always say, I, when I push out, like, my, my work, whatever you call it, I wait to the fans to see what they like. And if mm -hmm. they say, hey, you know, you need to work on this and that, then the next project, all right, I know what I need to be fixed on and then do on the yeah. next time. With that. Oh, yeah, I think everyone's album, besides Michael Jackson, but a lot of people's albums always have only one or two good ones. Yes. Or two, you know what I mean? Like, you can't really be like, uh, even like I said, like we just said Tupac and all of them. Uh, you know, we, we can go down to LL Cool J. All these good artists and rappers and singers, um, mm -hmm. if you ask someone, name all the songs on that album, they're going to be like, uh... Which one? Exactly. You know, they don't even know two or three. Like I said, that's why I said Michael Jackson, because that, the Thriller album, they can probably go through the whole song oh and know God. every single one. That's the you best, know. yeah. That's so, best. but it is true. There's always two things. But the thing I like about you, like what you said, Thank you. whatever they say, I'm going to grow with it. I'm going to change. I'm going to go this way, go that way, yeah, you know. Change so, it it's, yeah. it's always a good thing. And, you know, for you guys that are listening now, if you just started listening, this is uh, Vero G., She's mm -hmm. this year's gospel winner um, on the LDM. So, you know, and we're here. And this is uh, Real Talk, Real Music. Uh, and this is the podcast for independent artists uh, only. So, you know, get to know the person a little bit. And also, uh, Burl G, mm -hmm. if they want to know uh, more intimate stuff about you, mm. you got to go check her out on Behind the Mic, Ooh. where she really speaks uh, about her life. And you yeah. get to know who she is as a person, not the artist. So, um, we're, you know, damn, you've been like on every platform we have. I'm so like, far. let me know, put me on, I'm in there, She's man. She's like, put me on any, any new platform, you know. So, which is, which is good, which is good. Uh, you know, you can keep on going. Thank but uh, what is your next song that you, you're, you're releasing now? Uh, so, besides uh, this one, which has been out for some time, I just released a song which is very dear to me, and um, it's called Gone Too Soon. And mm -hmm. briefly about that concept of the song, uh, over a year ago, I found out I uh, miscarried. Right. Um, and it was very traumatic to me. And I felt like I had to take time to heal for myself before anything. During that time, now this year, was over, actually this month will be a year that he will, if my child would have been alive. You know, it would have been, been a year. A year. Um, so what I did was to make a remembrance of him. I decided to make the song, and a big shout out to Realers Productions, who made the, the production of this amazing song. And when I went to the booth and I did my thing, and when I heard the song Between You Me Charles, I cried. For that. I cried because I was like to hear the raw emotions of my vocals, and the beat was so beautifully, like everything was entwined to one. Mm -hmm. And to hear the, the impact now, and as we speak, no lie to you guys, uh, I just checked, within seven days it got released. Mm -hmm. It has over 1.6K streams on Spotify. There you go. That is crazy. And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. And actually, just a big shout out to uh, Gemini Sachs. Um, we did a docu film 
based on that song and also my situation, my story. Mm. And it's out now on my YouTube channel. You guys could check that out on uh, Real G Spotlight Network. So, so this is like the uh, theme song of that? Yes, that the single too. Yeah. Oh, and you okay. got, yeah, pretty much. And let me tell you, um, the feedback we got from the docufilm, a lot of people have been crying. And I, a friend of mine who I know personally, I didn't know this, she told me she had a miscarriage. And when she so, saw this. So it's actually touching. Yes. And okay. she saw this and she said, it reminded her of that situation. And she said, thank you for making this happen. Mm. So I, I just am honored for this. And then um, another project besides that, I'm uh, working on a few other collaborations with other artists. And uh, working on my fifth EP album, which should be out this year. I'm praying for that. Uh, it's called Energy. And that has a lot of great sounds, up-tempo songs, dance music. And, you know, a little bit of R&B and so on. Oh, wow. I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta check that out. Did, did yeah. you put it into the uh, independent movie? Uh, uh with the for the, the Gone Too Soon one. Yeah, you know? it's already on the docu film. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's already okay. on the soundtrack, and as we speak, um, I will be submitting it to other film festivals and see what could come. Yeah, because uh, we had one of the uh, mm -hmm. um, winners of the um, independent documentary stuff. Oh, nice. Okay. Nice. She did um, some puppet stuff. Uh, and she was showing the history of well, Latinas and stuff. Qué lindo. So oh, it, it was pretty cool. Um, and then she came here to show how the puppets were made. Oh, I couldn't God. believe, like, well, I believe because uh, people don't know when you're editing a video, See. it's about a frame. And a frame is a photo, Yeah. let's say. It can take 30 photos to make one second. That is true. So, <laughs> we, you know, as me, that I do special effects, like when I do music videos, I do a lot of special effects, mm -hmm. blowing up, doing this. Mm -hmm. I got to look frame to frame. Yeah. And then if, if I got to cut that and bring another one, it has to match. The like, same dynamic. Yeah, the, so the it's, it's a that. lot. And yeah. to do a puppet, to move an arm, and not even a second, you got to move it just a little bit it's so it can lot. go frame by yeah, that's it is. And that's work. why, like, a lot of people, and I do editing a lot for movies and, like, stuff we do, like, yeah. free, free films, the two films we did. One called Daughters Love That's Out Now. Uh, that was also done by Gemini Stacks, directed by him. And then this one, um, I work with Jam Prime Media with this one. You he had, the, like, the final touches of it. But let me tell you something, Charles. Editing is, excuse my French, is a biatch. <laughs> 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 because let me tell you, editing is it's so much work. You got to go back to, like you said, the frames. Right. You got to go to, okay, the sequence. What does the story tell? How does it, you know, develop? Then you got to go back into the sound. Sounds. To add to, you know, the certain scenes will stand out. So a lot of people don't really know, but filmmaking is a lot of work. Yeah. And, and then the, the background music. If yeah. You, you can have uh, a good scene. And if the background music is no good, if it's, it doesn't... If it's crappy, yeah. yeah. It, it won't make the you whole can, You can imagine a horror movie, the guy's coming with the knife to him, and you have this... Boom, 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 like, whoa, wait, wait, this is not... That's why the, yes. the, the movie, uh, the tense of, it, of a horror movie is the song. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Even Jaws, which has the most uh, uh, iconic... You're like, oh, my God! <laughs> you know, like, so it all plays a uh, part of it. So that's what is a, a good thing about it. But check it out. Um, Gone Too Soon. Yes. Uh, that's a new uh, single as well. Mm -hmm. But check out the, um, the video as, as well. So uh, it's the Spotify, everything yes. is on it. But, um, you know, hopefully you'll be reaching top tens again. And oh, well, we'll see you we'll again next working, year. We'll be working. We'll be working. You know? <laughs> yeah. So. I pray to God. He was to God's hands. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, we uh, like I said, the song was good. We, Thank you know, so uh, had fun with it. Um, I played it in a couple places, and they were like, okay, wow, oh, nice. you know. It was nice, you know. We, we played it both mostly for uh, the people that are going through stuff. Oh, wow. So I, I remember... They they had me hosting. Don't don't have me host because you're gonna have a, a funny guy. Oh lord! And I don't and I don't have hair in my tongue. So uh, <laughs> just let it out. Let it out. Yeah, I, I did a I did a hosting one for for an LGBT uh, event, and I said for all y'all uh, people out there, you know, I know y'all going through a lot of stuff. Y'all look in the mirror and realize you're dumber than you dumb. Oh my! Um, so <laughs> you know, God. there's a lot of things that are going on. So this song would help you understand it. And I played it, and people were like, I thought you were gonna play a funny song. But then this song really touched me. I was like, okay. You see, you, you tricked them. Mm -hmm. See, you say, I'm going to play. And then you like, you got them over here like. Yeah, I got them, you know, <laughs> thinking. I got them thinking. 
<laughs> you know, maybe maybe they now they will stop with their sensitivity. Oh, <laughs> see these millennials. That's a whole other story. Uh, I'm, that's, I'm like, that's, 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 that. a, that's a whole other thing. You know, <laughs> you, 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 you know, cheap uh, cheap plug. Check me out on Speak Out, my other podcast where we really go deep and we talk. Uh, I know this week we're we're speaking about um, mm. the new laws that are coming out and the stupid yeah. people. So yeah, it, it, it's been past month us talking about the dumb people. Um, That's gonna be a whole segment on that, right? Yeah, we yeah, it's like. <laughs> but again, that that's a, a debate. Um, podcast so people call in and they do have debates. Oh, that's gonna be fun! Um, oh they, yeah, they debate with me, but I keep telling them debate facts and debate intelligent because I am a law student and I, you I get do into debate. it. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> you know what I mean? Come on now. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Virgil, where, where they can where they can uh, find you now? Uh, yeah, so you guys can follow my website is www.virgilmusic.com. My Instagram is at official um, Pretty much, I don't use Twitter much, but it's at v e r o twenty eight eight four. They want to check mm-hmm. my stuff down there. Uh, pretty much my Facebook also uh, is at v e r o twenty eight eight four. They could check out all my content, all everything's up to date. And yeah, you can just check my stuff out. All my music, everything is just put Real G dot the yeah. dot. And Real you'll G, find you you find them, <laughs> you know. And if you're listening to this uh, podcast on uh, iHeartRadio, the description should be down below um, as well. So you know, thank you for coming. Thank you know, you today, so God bless. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, again, this is uh, Real Talk, Real Music, and this is only for independent artists. Uh, so you will not hear anyone else on this platform <laughs> okay I'll, but I'll independent artists only <laughs> uh or, or unless we're talking about music music you right, know right. We're, and I, I i made the title real talk real music because we're actually really talking and having the conversation yeah, just, just and we're talking about that. real music yeah. that we can understand yeah. no 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 oh no, lord don't no, get me no. started <laughs> no 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 yeah I, 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 I don't, e- I don't even want to <laughs> I, I tell you this much. I don't even want to interview somebody. Like, Yo, so how you been? Like, what? what you I don't even know what you're saying. Like, or, or they be like, Yo, can I can I curse you? Yeah, yeah, it's a podcast. Go ahead. Uh, they like, Yo, my nigga, what's up? Was you was gully? You like, um, can you speak English to me? Yeah, please? right. <laughs> like, I, I had an interview like that with a you guy, did. and it was like, oh, like I, I remember him like, like I just blanked out because he was talking about crap. I don't. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell. You, you know, I was going down the road and we, you know, we were talking that day. Little slap, and I was like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa!" And I was like, yeah. "I'm like, what the hell? What the hell did you say?" And in the interview, oh, all I, all I'm saying is, "Uh huh, yeah, really." <laughs> and you just go yeah. along with it. And then like those three words through the whole conversation, uh huh. You know, the yeah, funny thing is really. Like, they be like, "You know what I mean?" And they repeat it after yeah, a while. Yeah, you know like, what I mean. You know what I mean. I was just yeah. going out there, and, you know. I could, I seen this girl. I was like, yo, you know what I mean? I was like, chilling, right? I'm like, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, no, I don't even know what oh you mean. Oh, my God. I'm done. I'm done. I can't wait. <laughs> hey, that's real talk, real music. But anyway, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, this is the LDM radio station. Uh, shout out to iHeartRadio, uh, Roku TV, Apple, Amazon, all these other platforms that we are on with Rural G today. So uh, check us out um, next week. We have another uh, winner. Uh, pop, right? Yeah. She's a pop uh, artist. So R&B, R&B. Yeah. Uh, R&B. R&B. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then the uh, next week after that, we have a jazz. And then the next week after that, we have a hip-hop artist. And then we have someone from the uh, hip-hop 40 that is going on around here um, that is actually uh, helping uh, Big Pond and all of these guys doing it. They're really? going to be on this podcast as well. Wow. So we got a big lineup for this month. Uh, check us out. Um, this is our first time doing this, so hopefully we'll probably do it, wind up doing it every single day. I don't know. Hey, but, uh, it works. <laughs> hey, hey, real talk, real music. We'll check you out next week. All right, bye. Now listen to this song by today's guest. Trust in him. in him. He will lead. He will lead the way. Let him heal you. Give me strength every day. Let him heal you. Blessings come my way. 
let him heal give me strength every day let him heal heal you let's come my way God put your trust in him he will lead the way way open your heart to him Pain away He's our Savior Savior I will die Let Him heal you Give me strength every day Let Him heal you Bless Him come my way Let Him heal you Give me strength every day. Let it heal. Bless it come my way. Out of the darkness, you were always dead. I was torn and broken. Give me strength every day. Let him heal you. Blessings come my way. Let him heal you. Give me strength every day. Let him heal you. Blessings come my way. Let God give you the way, the strength to move on and move on in your life. Let him lead you to the way, to the path of your destiny. May we all go into one. You be strength every day. Gotta put your trust in him. He will lead. He will lead the way. City's LDM Radio.